Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I'm going to be showing you a recipe that is most definitely a keeper and one you should always have on hand because it can be used in so many ways. I'm going to be showing you how to make a homemade strawberry sauce or as some people call it, a strawberry compote. So it is definitely great on ice cream, cheesecakes, trifles. Um, you can use it on angel food cake. You can use it on pancakes, waffles, so many things. And it is just wonderful. It keeps well. It keeps well in the fridge for seven days. And it's just great and so simple to make. So the ingredients we'll be needing here are of course some strawberries. I have some chopped up strawberries here. You can either chop up about two and a half cups or a pound of uh, strawberries that just come in the regular packaging. We're gonna use some salt, sugar, a little bit of vanilla extract, and I also have half of a lemon here. We're going to be using the juice of half of a lemon. So that's that. And now you're also going to be needing a saucepan. So I have one here ready. And that's about it, so let's move on to the next step. Okay, so into our saucepan here, we are going to add in our strawberries. We're going to add in our sugar and our pinch of salt, so you can use about an eighth a teaspoon, okay? And we're going to bring this to our stove top on medium low heat and we're going to cook this for about 10 minutes. So allow it to come up to a boil and continue cooking until you notice that the sauce has thickened, the strawberries have broken down. I'll show you what mine looks like when we get there. Okay, so as you can see, our strawberry mixture here has come up to a boil. Now you just wanna continue having it on medium heat and just continue stirring it, allowing the strawberries to break down and become soft. Okay, so our sauce looks just great and it smells simply amazing in here. As you can see, it is nice and thick and our strawberries have softened. So this is the perfect consistency, exactly what we are looking for. Okay, so it took about seven minutes to reach boiling point at medium uh, temperature here. And then it took another six minutes, um, allowing it to continuously boil same temperature to reach the consistency that we need. So in total, about 13 minutes. Now we'll remove our sauce from our stovetop and we will add our remaining ingredients. Okay, so we'll add in our vanilla here, just a little bit of that, and we're going to add in the juice of half of a lemon. Now, because my lemon was very large, I'm just going to use about half of a half. But if you have a normal size, small, medium um, lemon, you can definitely use half of that. So I'm going to use half of my half here. Okay. And we're just going to stir this together. Okay, so I'm going to allow my sauce to sit here at room temperature for about five to seven minutes and then I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so my strawberry sauce has been at room temperature for about 10 minutes or so and it is perfect now. The longer it's sitting at room temperature, the thicker it will get and most definitely, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can place this in your fridge in a container with a lid or in a uh, bowl with some plastic wrap. Just make sure it is well covered and it will last seven days in your fridge and you can use it for whatever you like. So I just want to show you the consistency here. It is super thick and just luscious and amazing. It is amazing. I'm just going to try a little bit here. It's the perfect sweetness. The lemon most definitely uh, breaks it down so it's at the perfect everything. It is just perfect, perfect, and you will love this recipe. It will be your go-to strawberry sauce recipe for anything you make. 
you're going to love it. So that's about it. So simple to make and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye everyone.